Celebrity builder Ty Pennington pulls out a uh, saw and takes on a project in the mountains, helping to transform an old state prison. Hundreds have been at it all day, beginning the process of flipping that prison into a place that will turn people's lives around. News 13's Rex Hodge is live with our top story. And Rex, how's it going out there? Well, hundreds of people, both volunteers and skilled labor, have been here at the Old State Prison in Waynesville all day today. It will put a homeless shelter, halfway house, and soup kitchen all in one place. A concept getting the support of the community and a well-known face you know from TV. It's a project about building lives and knocking down barriers. When you can do something like this that really is about starting change in someone's life, then this is the kind of project you want to be involved in. Ty Pennington is helping to cut through preconceptions and put a fresh coat of paint on the homeless who will find warmth here, the hungry who will eat here, and inmates who will find a fresh start, all at a former state prison. When you think of like uh, this area, you think of the beauty and the mountains and you think of uh, the nature, but you don't always think of like, wow, people in need. I got loaded out of here on November the 14th, 2007. People like Richie Tannerhill, wrapped up in drugs, but now in recovery and giving back helping to renovate the very place where he was locked up. And I got a vision that we can create recovery communities, that we can create a national model, and it starts right here in Haywood County. And that's when you realize that you're doing the right thing. When the people that have been through the system, they've been through it, and they believe in what's happening here. The project, called the Haywood Pathway Center, was the clear winner of a $50,000 nationwide give back challenge, and something the local sheriff thinks will lead to fewer repeat offenders. We'll be there with them until the uh, they get into a better situation than they are now. The conversion is taking an army of volunteers. Landscaping. Like Phyllis Capone. To see the community come together like this is wonderful. Ty Pennington gets a lot of attention, but he knows ultimately it's attention on those who need it most that will really pay off. Uh, a new confidence in themselves to get a new start, new job, a new belief. And back here live, you can see some construction workers still up on the uh, the framing here. We hope you've been watching all day because this morning you know where they are right now is just a concrete slab. So the frame of this addition is already up. Just a testament to what can be done in one day if you have many hands. Lots of volunteers here helping out. We'll continue to track this story, bring you more coming up at 5.30. The completion date, by the way, is November 1st. We'll keep you posted. Reporting live tonight from Haywood County, Rex Hodge, News 13.